Hey, I'm Alicia. And I'm Christian. And welcome back. This is not Eat the Pizza. This is a Mind Over Munch video, but we're filming an Eat the Pizza style because Christian is helping me out today. Don't mind um, if I do. We're testing a bunch of egg gadgets today. How did this video happen? I know this is not our usual video, but let me tell you what happened. We were filming an Instant Pot video where I needed those little sous vide egg bite molds, yeah. you know? And because of the whole COVID thing, Amazon's shipping times were like a month out, and I guess sous vide egg bite molds were not essential items. Anyway, I couldn't get them anywhere except for Bed Bath & Beyond, and so I got onto the Bed Bath & Beyond website, and it shows like related items, and also related was this item, which I used to boil all the eggs in the Instant Pot. This is for like, this is like really a waste of money, you don't need it, but Sometimes I like little gadgets that you don't need. So I've, I've got this and I had the sous vide egg bites in my cart and then suddenly it was showing me all the egg gadgets available at Bed Bath & Beyond. And I was like, oh my God, there are so many egg gadgets. How are there so many? And I was looking at them all and I slowly was just like putting them in my cart and then before I knew it, there was $100 of egg gadgets. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, we should just make a video where we test all these because I wonder if any of them actually work. So. I guess we're gonna find out. We're gonna do that today. What's the first one? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know, baby, let's take a look. This is the Easy Cracker. The Easy Cracker. An egg cracker slash separator. Effortlessly crack eggs with one simple motion. Separate egg whites. And it's as seen on TV, yes. You see that? Okay, so this has a little pokey. Easy scrambler. Oh, I know what this is. What is it? This has a little pokey. You poke the egg, and then because it punctures the yolk, you can scramble the egg up. How do you scramble the egg up? I, it just says easy scrambler. So hold the unit upright in one hand and the egg in the other hand. Hold the egg so the flat end of the egg is down. Are you gonna do it? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Place egg on the pin. Push to pierce the shell. Okay. You did it, look at that. While holding the egg loosely with one hand, turn the unit on by pressing and holding the on off switch. Does it have batteries in it? Oh no, there's batteries? Hold on now. Place two AA batteries into the battery compartment. Hold on. Okay. All right, batteries are now in. Batteries in. All right, let's do it. Is it scrambling the egg up in there? Probably. So what's the benefit of this? To scramble it inside. <laughs> I guess. Now I can just crack the egg Why? and I get. Oh! Break the egg as you normally do to use for cooking, baking, and more. Wait, so this is a, the, the scrambler is yeah. a different thing than the cracker? Yeah, so Are we that's. Gonna use the cracker? Yeah, yeah, use the cracker. So you test the cracker. Oh, it appears. It's a scrambled egg. Very good. So now you don't need to whisk it up on your own, I guess. <laughs> Hold the unit over bowl or directly over a frying pan. Uh, that's the uh, separator attachment. Right. Oh, shoot. That's if you wanna separate the yolk. So the yolk should fall into there and it should separate. <gasps> oh! It worked! Careful, it's gonna fall out. Oh, there you go. That actually worked. Here's the reason this actually wouldn't work because it's you see white. all that white in there. <laughs> so like most recipes that require a yolk mm -hmm. require the yolk with no white at all, especially if it's a baked good mm -hmm. and the white compromises whatever the recipe is. So not I, worth it. Not worth it. All right, we are going to try out a couple of peeling gadgets next, intended to peel hard boiled eggs. This is the Eggs Act Peel. This is easy eggs. Peels up to three eggs in under 10 seconds. That is quite a claim. We're gonna see if they're telling the truth. I'm gonna actually time how long it takes. Oh, awesome. it says a shake and peel. Shake and peel, yeah. there you go, that's the instructions. Let me get the stopwatch. Okay, okay, let's All right, start. here we go. Start in three, two, one. Ten. Not looking so hot here. 
Okay, so it seems like one of them burst open and the other one did not peel. It's still edible. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, still, still eat edible. it. I love They're boiled just the, eggs. This one's broken open and all the shell is inside. Okay, well, get the shell <laughs> out. So I would say now I have to do dishes. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say... Pass. Yeah, I'm going to say no. What about this one, though? The exact peel. Easily remove stubborn shells from soft or hard-boiled eggs. Plastic blade makes a clean crack before peeling a clean crack you crack it oh this is a cracker <gasps> it popped all right all right something's happening here and uh, i don't know i just think it's easier to peel it but i would not buy these things would you buy these things no i certainly okay. wouldn't let's That's test another one okay so we have two products that require a stove top so we're going to do both of those next the first is this egglets hard-boiled eggs without the shell. Oh! So you crack the eggs into these little egglet containers and then boil them in water. I don't really get the point of this, I guess, because then you don't have to peel the egg, which we just saw is not that hard. So these are the little egglet containers. You can also add like vegetables and meat and stuff to make like little egglets. Okay. <laughs> Um, and then what's that one? This is the eggy. It's a little thing that you put on the in the pan, right? And then you crack it in there and it makes a perfectly circular egg. I always spray for eggs. It doesn't matter if it's nonstick or not. And I always spray inside of this because you don't want it to get stuck in there. <laughs> so the idea is this will make like a perfect little patty. <laughs> I might have pulled it 20 seconds too soon. It's a patty though for a sandwich, but our yolk has gone all the way to the side and it's like about to burst. But this is a perfect size little patty and it looks great on that side. Yeah. Final call on the eggy. Thumbs up. Okay, don't mind the steam. The water is boiling. All right. We're gonna get these egglets going. So we're gonna do one soft boiled, one medium boiled and one scrambled. Use that easy scrambler to scramble up that egg. Just pierce it carefully. Okay, it's been pierced. And then hold it on and then scramble it up. I'm gonna fill, this was one of the eggs we already cracked. For a soft boiled, a large egg is 8.75 minutes. A medium boiled is 11.3 minutes. And a scrambled is 14 minutes. So let's get them in there. So in 8.75 minutes, we'll see if it is soft boiled. Okay, so we're just taking out, which one? Soft boiled. When cooked, remove egglet cup with tongs. Place in cold water to cool. Oh, oh, we didn't get know. any cold water ready. We didn't know. Oh my God. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. <laughs> Okay, soft boiled egg, ready? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no, uh -oh. oh no, that's really soft. Okay, wait, ready? Oh. Mm, that looks disgusting. It sure does. 11.20, go, next. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's do it. This is medium boiled. I mean, the thing is, it does look medium boiled in there. Yeah, well, dump it but out But it's not see. easy to get it out. <laughs> Squishing it. Oh, 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 oh. That is not, I don't know if that's, uh, that's medium. That is medium. But... And there's still stuff in the bottom. That is not gonna be fun to clean. Okay, here we go. Maybe you're supposed to spray it down inside. Oh, Joe's right. It says, when egglet cups have been sufficiently oiled. <laughs> Oops. Which we did not do. Oops, folks. Okay, so maybe that would have helped. It probably would have helped, but that is still not done, sorry. Yeah, that is still not done, that's true. So we didn't read the directions again. That's a scrambled egg. Oh. Still got a yolk in the middle. <laughs> I am not about that, I say no. Yep. The next batch of gadgets we're gonna test are for the microwave. This is the Good Grips Microwave Egg Cooker. And it makes like a patty. Right. This is a microwave egg poacher. I love poached eggs. Yeah, you do. I don't think they're gonna be good in the microwave. And this is a microwave omelet, which we've done a microwave omelet in a video before. Not with this though. Not with this <laughs> though. So you love to make like an egg sandwich. I do, I if love If this a good works, egg sandwich. would you use it? What's your- I'd be more likely to use the eggy, but let's see, maybe if it works, if it's okay. very convenient, then yes. I'm reading the instructions from now on. All right. 
This has a stay cool handle for easy removal, a wide opening for whisking directly into the cooker, and a curved bottom that helps center the yolk for fried eggs. That is So it awesome. shouldn't go on the side. Let's see if it happens. Crack an egg in there. Oh, it's in Whoa. the center. OXO, I have had good experiences with this yep. brand. So I want to believe that they wouldn't put this out. If it I also work. want to believe that. I like um, OXO. Um, oops, open lid and spray inside with non-stick rings. I'm reading the instructions this time. Okay, now take two. And it's it still, still in the stays middle. stays in the center, all right. It's all right. 25 seconds. <gasps> There's that no way. Looks like a, actually pretty good. I'm impressed. Okay, I'm impressed. OXO's Good Grips Microwave Egg Cooker. What's up? All right, Microwave Egg Poacher by Salt is next. This is a reversible lid, which functions as a heating surface for breakfast meats. Okay, so it. this does not say to spray it, so we are not going to spray it. Uh, one egg going into each side for a poached egg. Do we add water? Yes, so it says, let's read the instructions. Crack one egg into each of the egg poacher pockets. Pierce each egg yolk with a fork and- What? Yeah. Why do you want to pierce the yolk? I want the yolk to be perfect well, in a poached it'll... egg. Well, let's try not doing it. Let's do one. Why don't we just try okay, one? let's do one. Poked, done. Now we gotta add a half teaspoon of water to each one. Okay, and then do we close it? Two eggs, one minute and 15 seconds to one minute and 25 it? seconds. Okay, it literally mm, it does not say, say, it does so. not say if we're supposed to close this or open it. They gotta be thinking, no dummies are gonna think one way or another. All right, screw this, let's go. Uh, one minute, 15 seconds. That was, oh! oh! You see it popping? It literally popped open in the microwave. The lid popped off. Oh my God. There is egg all over the microwave. That is not a poached egg. Do we need to try this again with it open? I need to know if it works. All right, let's try it again. We'll add one teaspoon of water. water. I'm going to poke it as well because I'm going to follow the directions. Which means we also need to fill this side with water. Okay. Just says fill it up. Oh, That's man. fine. Let's just see how it goes here. Okay, this time we're leaving it open, right? <laughs> yeah. That is a little soft and the yolk, the whites are a little soft, but it is better. So maybe it does need so to be So it definitely open. needs to be open. <laughs> I think sideways because it did technically work. Yeah, it worked. But the directions were terrible. Bad directions, they get a notch down um, 40. But you don't have to spray it, but look Oop, at all they're back up to the middle. Look at all these ridges to clean. Is it dishwasher safe? It is top rack dishwasher Back safe. Back up. It's right in the middle. That's right in the middle. All right, this is the egg and omelet wave. Okay, so this is the last egg cooking thing of the day. It cooks an omelet, but it looks like it also cooks- Poached eggs. Poached eggs. <laughs> okay, so we should try the omelet first. All right, so- You got two eggs. Huh? No, but it, we got to divide it evenly between the two sides. So I'm going to do one egg mm -hmm. at a time. And then once it's almost cooked, you flip it and cook it some more. What? Yeah. That That's what is you do. Awful. Close the unit to fold omelet together and cook for an additional 15 to 30, 30 seconds. Ooh, to be honest, this is not looking good. It <laughs> sure is not. That's Ugh. like shriveled and gross looking. Okay, cheese. It says it's supposed to be a little liquidy still here. Close the unit. So the half of the filling is on the bottom. Go. Go. Okay, it's not too hot to handle. What do we got? The big reveal. You know, to be honest, I am a really good omelet maker. Yeah, and it it's actually less stressful than that. Okay, can we try this actually? Yeah. I mean, it does look okay on a plate. The, the, the texture is too dry. Let's try the poached one. I'm curious about the poached one. This is our last egg, so. Break each egg into each cavity. Can you just do one? Add half one <laughs> teaspoon of water. 
Okay, cook high 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds, microwave another 15 seconds with another 30 second rest period, then check to see if they're done, and if not, repeat 15 second cooking with 30 second rest period. All right, got it. <laughs> Memorize the process. Moment of truth, moment of truth, moment of truth, ready? Hmm. Okay, that looks a little better. <gasps> okay, so that's poached a little harder than I'd like for my eggs, Benedicts. Yeah, I'd still say that's not. I actually think the other poached egg was better. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so I, I gotta give this one the same deal as the other one because it did technically work. It technically yeah. made an omelet. But we've got one more. Right, so let's, one test, more. let's test the last one. The last one we've got. Mm -hmm. Oxo Good Grips Egg Slicer. I like Oxo. I like Oxo too. That's so this funny. is supposed to slice eggs for like a salad. That's right. All right. Shall we? You have the honors. Okay, cool. Crap. Holy crap, that was so satisfying. I mean, I didn't even do it, just watching it. That, that is so cool. Look at that. That is cool. I have to try it. Yeah, look at that. Like, is it worth it for putting if on a salad? you needed them to be perfectly cut. Still, I think it's super cool. Okay, let's rate all the products. All right. Okay. Okay, so our final rundown, we're gonna go worst to best. Yeah. Number one worst thing, this cracker. Uh, number two, these egglets. Okay, next, omelet thing. Egg omelet extreme, ex <laughs> egg and omelet way. Yeah, this thing, you cook the two sides and flip it. Um, it did cook the omelet and it looked okay, but it didn't taste great, it was dry. This one did do the poached eggs a little bit better, although the directions were terrible. We uh, had to kind of figure out how it worked. Yep. Um, and then once we figured it out, it only sort of worked. This is the um, peeler cracker. exact peel. Oh yeah. This thing, okay, it did work actually. Yeah, it worked it cracked, crack the egg. It cracked eggs and it separated, but would I ever pull it out to use it? Would I ever want to wash it? That's like such a thing here. Do I want to wash any of these things? It's just more work. The eggy. The eggy. This is the first thing that actually I think worked yeah. pretty well. This boiled egg slicer admittedly only serves one purpose and it's a very specific purpose. I don't know if I need it. I don't know if I need it, but it was so cool. And number one, this thing. Oxo, I don't remember what it's called, but it's the thing where you fry an egg and it works really well. Yeah, microwave egg cooker. I would use that again, and that's I the one too. thing I'm surprised it worked, and I'm, I would recommend it. I'm gonna use it. I don't have any discount codes for you, and I don't have not anything, to, it's not sponsored. If you wanna see more videos with Christian and I, uh, and if you want us to test anything out, let us know what you wanna see in the comments below, and we'll get it to you. Yep. All right, we hope you have a great day. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch. I All right, folks. you want eggs for dinner? Uh, looks like it. <laughs>